Where's the polder? What I mean when I say without thinking, because I have remembered the spirit level, I can forget the spirit level. The linguist has delegated down. The hold is natural because it is efficient, efficient because the linguist needn't trouble herself. The talker tools are hand by rote, and now it is trusted independently. Decisions made below the neck trouble my sense of self, but by turning my brain to my index finger, I neglect the audience. Delegates should hold the glass while my brain turns to speech, but never the mouth, only the language I delegate to my mouth. The delegates alert me at the cusp of failure. Confidence is trusting your delegates. Confidence is sexy. My delegates have intimate knowledge and I trust them not to spill a drop of water. I have never decided between two ways of holding a glass. A human pastime involves posing as one's body in named postures, postures that overreach our social aims. This behaviour is still directed in pursuit of the ideal of hyperextension. Taking back manual control is permitted in a structured learning environment. Doing the delegate's work can act as a reprieve from management responsibilities. Four fingers bend around a beckoning arc. The thumb is fully rotational. Wrists flap, rotation must come from a shoulder socket. Linguistic blogging takes the attentive time of the inner ear. Is zero degrees my arm extended aloft? Can I project a grid on three dimensions? Easier to measure my body against the object. The glass measures the pressure the hand can exert and the hand measures the pressure the glass can endure. She asked me if we could try something different. I asked myself if I could imagine it differently. I found I could only imagine the polar opposite. What would be the least efficient, the least natural, the greatest probability of slippage? <laughs> to test too many increments is inefficient, unnatural and unsexy. I do not wish to be known as a deliberator. <laughs> <laughs>